This week on Daily Architecture News. Built in the 1950s, the time-worn grain storage buildings of Wangjiangjing Town in China were once collectively known by locals as the Lotus Granary, a name given to the site for its proximity to masses of lotus field marshlands. But after the interiors of the two main warehouses were mostly destroyed by fire, extinguished by water sourced directly from the lotus ponds, the granary was forced into early retirement, abandoned and mostly forgotten. In recent years, the owner of the site called upon Shanghai-based architecture atelier Roark Renew to rejuvenate the imposing buildings, challenging the designers with the brief to create a landmark cultural destination. The resulting facility is the Taochang Art Centre, a 2,448 square metre art gallery that celebrates the masonry architecture of the existing granary through two new corridor structures that link the original buildings. Beyond restoration, very little was done to change the architectural language of the original dwellings. And perhaps the most significant update to the main warehouses is the addition of lotus bloom and leaf illustrations, floating in ponds of lustrous terrazzo flooring a colourful tribute to the lotus-rich locale and the symbolic marshland waters that saved the granary buildings from ruin all those years ago. Swirl by British design house Tom Dixon is a series of geometric forms that can be stacked upon one another to create multi-dimensional functional sculptures. The unique manufacturing process of the pieces involves salvaging powdered stone from the marble industry and mixing it with pigment and resin to create blocks of material that can be sawn, sliced and turned on a lathe. The result is a family of psychedelic tables, vases and accessories, each with a distinct silhouette, coloration and personality. Swirl by Tom Dixon is available in Australia from Living Edge. Rig up the mirror ball and cue the greatest hits of the 1970s. Interior designer Greg Natale has released disco-inspired glassware to partner with a summer of boogie nights at home. Named after one of the owners of Studio 54 in New York, the Rebel glasses flaunt a striking silhouette and are available now in highball or tumbler sets. The longhouse is a 110 metre long shed, sheltering a sequence of smaller buildings and gardens in Dalesford, Victoria. Designed by Australian architecture firm Partners Hill, the shed serves as a cooking school, productive garden and a residence for its owners. Inside the long house, the comforts of home are intertwined with rows of vegetables, fronted with herbs, scrambling passion fruit and grapevines, as well as fruit and citrus trees, including a massive avocado and figs espaliered against translucent walls. The home and the ideas running through the expanded building and the greater farming project are still evolving. As such, the longhouse is only the beginning of a new long story for both owners and the architect. The longhouse is featured in the fourth edition of Folio, a magazine by Brickworks. You can find out how to receive your free copy of Folio, plus read about all of these stories and more online now at dailyarchitecturenews.com.